That's good. We just and that's what we want to do really for our listeners is we just want to kick off kick off any guilt that they feel when they are overwhelmed or they're stuck and just say it's okay. Carve out time to be still and try something new. Take a deep breath with Jesus. Let's begin again and try something new. Yeah. That's the beauty of community. Like even hearing, uh, Maggie, you share some of those examples. You being a free spirit, all that stuff comes naturally to you, but I'm an accountant. So I feel like structure and discipline and routine is what cultivates that. But being married to you and being around a community of people that's helped me to see that there are different ways that we can experience and cultivate that relationship with God has been very freeing and helped me to find new ways uh, to do that when I get stuck Mm -hmm. in some ways. So there's always people around you that can help you in that journey. If we're free and willing to say, listen, this is what's worked for me. You should give it a shot, but this isn't the only way. It's one uh, of my favorite questions to ask Christians, like people who know God. Like it's like, how do you like to how do you like to hang out with God? <laughs> I mean, I love it because it's just like you'll be surprised if you had ten people at a table. You know, they do so many different things. Yeah, and I, and like, I just I just find it instructive. Like sometimes people will tell me things, and I'm like, I would never do that. I mean, that would never work for me. Um, but then sometimes they'll say stuff that I'm like, I'm not, I've got to try that. Like, I just kind of file that as something to, um, to experiment with. Mm-hmm. And so I think, you know, even just a baseline of even five minutes of, of being still, like, it, you know, it sounds like not very much, but have you ever tried to be still for five minutes? Mm-hmm. Like, to actually still yourself, um, to be conscious of God and just, and just to wait on Him. That's a brand new experiment. I mean, yeah, that's I get encouraging because to... that you say start small because some of us are a little extreme. You know, one day we wake up and we're that's it. We're going to be a runner, that's and not... we're not going to eat donuts anymore. Yeah. And actually, we're not going to have any sugar. And then five minutes later, we just had three pieces of cake. You know? Do you know somebody like that? This is me. This oh, is okay. my life. Yeah. And so I like it when someone says, "Don't go all extreme. You don't have to be still for an entire hour. Just take five minutes." And practice being with Jesus for those five minutes. So, yeah, and you. I and I mean, just because of the way I'm wired, um, I it helps me to have a it helps me to have a Bible plan, like a reading plan, because otherwise I'm just I'm just coming down like mm. I'm opening my Bible like, and it feels it feels a little too random just to open <laughs> um, to a different place every day and like and, and you're gonna find some obscure yeah, stuff in there. Yeah, it's like it's like what part of the story am I in? So it's helpful to know the story of the scripture to have read through it. You know, like if you've never read the Bible, like it's a big book, but it's not it's not impossible. Yeah. You know, like especially the New Testament or the Gospels. You know, it would be good a good place to start and just go, hey, um, before I make before I make judgment on all this stuff, I'm I'm gonna read it once. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn the story. Um, so, so sometimes just reading through the scriptures, if you haven't done that before, is a good place just to get a to get a lay of the land, um, and then and then a Bible reading plan helps me at least know what I'm what I'm tr- attempting to do, you know, and um, it kind of keeps me on track, and I don't get all bent out of shape if I missed a day, a day or two. I just pick back up, and 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 uh, I want I want to have I want to have some scripture in there. Because I want to know the stories. Mm-hmm. The story of the Gospels are so beautiful, and mm-hmm. the story of the Bible fits together as you get to know it better. Um, and there's great, there's great helps, you know. Again, on the internet and in different places, probably on your podcast. Um, you know, it, it's a great way to, it's a great way to uh, learn the stories that we live in. Yeah. Because um, we all live in a story, and we need to know how our story, like, relates to God's. So we need to know the story, but then I think we need to, I think we need to figure out different ways of doing that. Like my wife, for example, will pray when she prays, she always prays with a notepad because she's, she's wanting to bring different things before God that she's thinking about or questions she's asking about the kids or probably about me. (laughs) And, um, and it's like, God, what are we going to do with him? (laughs) You know, and then she waits um, and she wants to be able to take she wants to be able to take notes on the conversations that she has with God, and that's a way for her with writing her prayers and writing um, writing interactive thoughts that she has as she's talking to God that it keeps mm-hmm. that fresh. Um, and so, you know, there's just there's just a thousand different ways that we can use our creativity. And again, you use the idea of experiment, where we can change it up and try something for you know a few weeks, and try something else and. And, uh, and, and keep things fresh.